in this video we will be installing Debian 10 operating system on a Hetzner dedicated server. First of all we need to reboot the server into rescue mode. Click on rescue then select Linux then 64 bit click on the activate rescue system it will give us a password you need this password to log into the server before you can log into the server in rescue mode you need to restart the server for that click on the reset here you will see the server is currently running you need to reboot the computer for this uh, you have three options here uh, first option is like a power uh, power button if you click this and uh, click send then the server will be will be shut down then you need to, to send again once once more to start the server otherwise this is equal to restarting the computer uh, so let us select the second option click send okay the server will be restarted soon so here is a server IP if I ping here it will be down for a while then come back okay now the server is down it once the server is rebooted you will see the ping started coming okay the ping started uh, ping started uh, so the server is back online let us log into the server SSH root. Now it asks for this fingerprint. Uh, type yes. Now enter the password. We are in rescue mode now. To install operating system, type install image. Press enter. Now select the operating system. In this case, we need Debian. Debian 10 is the latest version. We will install the minimal version. Then an editor will open. In this server, we have two drives. By default, Hetzner will install a two disk as software RAID 1. In this case, we don't need a RAID 1. Customer just need one operating system installed on one disk so I will comment this line drive to go to here this is software RAID 1 software RAID is active or not we don't want RAID because we only have one disk here you can put host name for the server scroll down here you can set partition we have SAP 32 GB for boot it is 512 MB but this is too small for a boot partition I prefer something like 2 GB 20 48 MB 48 rest of the disk will be used as slash partition so that's all we need to do in this uh, editor we need to quit from this for that there is an F10 you can press F10 or just escape and it will ask for saving this file you need to select this yes and click uh, press enter it will show a warning regarding the data on the disk will be deleted since this is a fresh server I s uh, select yes now the operating system is getting installed on this server it will take few minutes for the OS to be installed after the OS is installed you will be able to log into the server using same password you used for rescue installation is completed now you can reboot the server in normal mode reboot again it will take few minutes 
for the server to reboot. You can ping and wait until you get a response for the ping. Server is back online now. Now it is not in the rescue mode. So when you log in, it will ask you. Okay, the key is changed, the fingerprint is changed because we have a new operating system now. Before it was rescue, now we are logging into the freshly installed Debian 10 server. Now log in again. It will ask for saving the fingerprint. Type yes. And the password is exactly same as the rescue password. Okay, we are in. We are, it's a Debian 10. See? Star issue. Okay, it's a Debian 10. Now, let us check the hard disk. Parted minus L. Oh. Parted is not installed. We need to install it. apt install parted. We may need to do apt update before. Anyway, let's see if it work. No, apt update. Now parted will work. Yes, plus. Okay, now let us check the disk with the parted minus L. Okay, we have two disk. First disk. This. Okay, this is a disk we are using. This is a old uh, disk as is because it was read before. So it's showing read. We can partition this disk. Delete the partitions on this server, this disk because we are not using read. Then uh, create a new partition as required. 